How's it going guys, Skynet here, and I know it's been a long time since I made a video. For that I apologize, but for those of you who have been patient, I am making another Elder Scrolls tutorial. The last one I had, which most have you probably watched, has gained over 1.8 million views. And the viewership hasn't slowed down in the slightest. I am beyond impressed, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So to pay you guys back for your patience, I'm going to show you how to start out with a lot of money in Morrowind. First, I would like to address the elephant in the room. Yes, this game is modded, however, most of the mods only change the aesthetics of the game, and not the gameplay itself. The exception is that I have a mod where I don't become fatigued when walking, or running, I should say. You don't really get fatigued by walking. If you want to use that mod, go ahead. It makes combat easier, and if by chance you are playing the Xbox version of the game, then there is a cheat that you can put in to quickly charge up your fatigue. Link is in the description below. With that said, the best way to go about this is to head north of Sedanin, I apologize if I butcher any names, and walk along the coast. There is a missing taxman named Processus Vitellus that people have been talking about, and his body is not too far from the town. With the mod I'm using, it's hidden in the grass, but otherwise he is easy to find. You will see his body along with a substantial amount of money, 200 septums to be exact, Take the gold and head back to the census office and talk to Zosucius Ergala, I think that's how you pronounce it, and tell him that you saw the taxman's body. He was murdered by someone in, t in the town. When Zosucius asks about the money, tell him that you didn't find anything on him. He will blow it off as a robbery gone wrong. This, however, doesn't mean the quest is over. There is a tax ledger that was also on his body. The person with the largest amount of unpaid debt is Forn Gilneth. He is the murderer. Head to his house, which is one of the shacks in the tiny block just outside of a treehouse. When you confront him, you have a choice to let him go or tell him that you will turn him in. If you tell him that you will turn him in, he will try to kill you. But he is unarmed, and at that point, hopefully you have a weapon or spell to kill him with. He is kind of a pushover, and once he is dead, take what little gold he has along with Processus' ring and go back to the census office. Tell Socius that Forn was a murderer. With that, he rewards you with 500 septums, and you get to keep the gold that was on the tax man's body. With that, you should have 700 septums, and you can make a lot more. If you go to Balmora, you can sell the ring for a pretty good price, depending on who you sell it to. The different stores will buy it at a different price. Once you are there, report to KS Casades and tell him about your orders. If you are under level 3, he will give you 200 septums, so you need to hurry up and do so. With the money off of the taxman, the reward for finding the killer, and the money that Chaos gives you, that should amount to 900 septums, and that is not counting the money you made from the ring, the money you start out with, and the various items that you can take and sell. So with that said, you have a good start. You can do various quests, defeat Dagoth Ur, and wait nine years in order to kill Parthenax. If anyone has a better way to do it, please let me know in the comments section. I am by no means a Morrowind guru, and I always enjoy learning something new. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, have a good one.